All right, here we go for another quick how-to video. For this, you're gonna need steel leader wire, some pliers, some egg sinkers and weights, and some cutters. So, if you do drop shot at all, or you do uh, dropper rigs for with bait for like halibut or whatever, uh, you've seen these, right? So these are just regular drop shot weights on a wire here that you hook to the bottom and then, you know, the weight will be up top. Well, I'm sorry, the bait will be up top. But this is a little half ounce, little uh, drop shot weight or a one ounce weight, right? So what happens when you run out of those? You have to go to the store, buy a pretty package or a pretty bag full of these for, you know, five, six bucks for a dozen or whatever it is. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you don't need to do that anymore. You can get, you know, you can use your sliding egg sinkers that you already have or buy cheaper sliding egg sinkers and uh, actually make these weights by yourself. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take some of this uh, toothproof steel leader wire. I have some left over from the, the A-rigs that I make. You're going to take a pair of pliers. You're going to grab the one end of it. You're going to bend that over at a 90. Okay, make sure that that's bent at a 90. Perfect right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut about half that off. All right, so there you have it. You see that little tiny edge right there, a little tiny hook right there. You're gonna take, let's let's start with the half ounce. So we're gonna take this half ounce weight, slide it all the way down onto there. Okay, you can see that, that little piece that we just cut is hanging off the bottom. I don't need it to be that much, so I'm actually gonna cut just a hair more off of that. All right, go ahead and slide that right back on. Perfect. You can see that that just barely sits down below that. See that little piece right there? Excellent. Now you're gonna take some other, another pair of pliers. And just like with the rigs, when you're making, making, when I'm making the eyes, I use two pairs of pliers. So I'm gonna use this one, grab a small little section up here. If you have a, a a wire bending tool that that may be of use as well this is 325 pound wire so I found that those um, those tools don't work very well with this heavier wire okay, so you go ahead and bend that then I'm gonna go ahead and crimp that down even further crimp that eye make it much smaller okay there you go you have that right there now I'm gonna go ahead and Go to my fancy, handy dandy little vice grip here, or vice rather, and I'm just going to wrap that wire around a few times, get it snug against that weight. There you go, that's nice and snug. Okay. Now, you could do one of two things. You could crimp it, or I'm sorry, cut it with the wires, or if you have a pair of, or if you have a metal saw, I like to go ahead, just so I can get as close to the, as close to that center as possible, and I'll go ahead and cut just a little bit into that. Once you get a little bit into that, then you could just take your pair of pliers and just work that right off but just like that you have yourself a half ounce drop shot weight this stuff again super cheap you can get it on amazon or at your local tackle shop under eight bucks for 30 feet of this stuff depending on the size the thicker the size the more expensive you can get this uh like 140 pound for just under three bucks or just under five bucks or whatever it is but uh, yeah there, there's a half ounce might as well just show you same thing with the the um this is a one actually that's a one and a half ounce so you can go ahead and do the same thing grab that end pull it to a 90. i'm gonna go ahead and cut about half that off 
Okay, there it is again. Go ahead and slide that right through. So it stops right there. Go ahead and take the pliers or your wire bending tool. Okay, go ahead and straighten that wire a little bit out. Okay, there you have it. Again, go ahead and put this into the vise. And just wrap it around a couple times. Promise you, this is a heck of a lot cheaper than buying buying these weights. Again, I go. You don't have to, but I put it in the vise. Use my saw. Just enough to make it have an end and or cut a little bit off, and then pliers break that little piece off. And there I have it. Ounce and a half drop shot weight. Alright, there it is. DIY drop shot weights with steel leader wire. Hope that was helpful. Take care now. Thanks for watching.